Hi guys, how you doing? I hope you're gonna have a great day because today we start building our app. In the last video, I showed you the bubbles added, and now we're going to actually start building our app. The first step is to build the database. The database is a collection of data that the app, the user, is going to need to get the job done. If you never create a database before, you're going to see that in Bubble is pretty easy. If you want to build your app, subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up. Okay? So stay tuned and let's go to the screen. Okay guys, so here we have our Bubble app. And to start working with, we need to build our database. Okay? So for the database, we're going to need to create three tables. First, the user and second, the project, and third, the task. So we come here in our data tab. Bubble already created for us the user type that here we call tables, we call type, okay? So here we already have the user type and we have here the email field and the password field. So we can come here to create another field we need a name for the user, okay? So here we have the field type. We have some types here. We have, uh, it can be a task, a number, a number range, a numeric range, a date, a date range. So we are not going to talk about this now. So we are just click here on task, hit create, create another field. And we come here and uh, we can have a job position for the user, the department, uh, a phone number, And we can add a photo so the user can have a profile picture. So that's going to be our user type. Okay, so here we have the name, the phone number, job position, the department, photo, and of course the email and the password. So now we are going to create our new type. So we type here project, hit create, create a new field. So first, of course, the name of the project. Now the description. Um, we can have here the start date for the project so we click here in date we have a final date of course and now we need the members that are going to work on the project so we're going to relate the two tables okay the two types we're going to relate with the user type. So our members are going to be users from the, the, the app. Okay. So we need more than one user to, to work on the project. So we click here to build a list for this field. And now we can add multiple entries. We create. Now we need a responsible course. Responsible for the project. Also, it's going to be a user. Uh, I think that's it for now. So, in our project type, we have a user field. Oh, we have, sorry, we have a name field that it's a test. We have members that it's a list of users. We have the start date, the final date. Um, responsible 
and the description. Okay. So in our project, we need to add some tasks. Okay. So click here. We need a new type for this. So we are going to type here task. We create. We add a name. Sorry. Name for this task. We add also a description. Uh, we can have here uh, members. So if you if we need more than one user, more than one um, person to do this task, you can add more than one. So we click new user and create a list for this field. We create a responsible, also a user. Oh, sorry, list. So um, I think we need just one date. Okay, we are going to work with tasks that can be finished in one day so click here we create and now we need to relate this task with the project okay so um th this task task can just be related with one project okay so we come back here in the project, we create a new field, we add tasks, the type is going to be a task, but here we click to build a list for this field because we can have multiple tasks for uh, each project. Hit create. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, let's give a, a little overview. So here in the side we have our tables, okay, our types, and here we have the fields of this type. So we click here in task, we have all the fields for this type. Here we have the types for each field, okay. So we have everything we need now to start building our app okay guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed remember this is only the first step in creating our app in the next video i will show you how to create a login and sign up page with the design and the workflow behind it. if you don't want to lose it remember subscribe to the channel hit the bell button if you like the video give a thumbs up so thank you guys and see you soon